no one said cut. No one said cut. I can't take it. I can't. I couldn't do it. So in all my videos leading up to Megalopolis, two things turned out to be true. One is that the most interesting thing about this movie is that Francis Ford Coppola put $120 million of his own money into this movie. That, again, as it turns out, is the most interesting thing about this movie. The second thing that I said is, what if this movie sucks? Holy sh Disappointment of the, I can't even say. Yes, I walked out. Let's, you can't bury the lead anymore, you already clicked on it. Um, I have, I don't walk out often, but I will walk out of movies. So this is the thing I do. And I'm also, in this case, to explain, I'm not necessarily never gonna see it. This isn't a never gonna see it. This is a, I might go back, I probably owe you guys a review. But this is what I do when a movie is this bad. And I also, I sat through an hour and a half of it. So I think that's a lot of time and an interesting amount of time for me to be able to give to you guys as this is what I saw for an hour and a half straight. Um, anything that a movie is supposed to do, name it, this movie underperforms in a way that it almost just doesn't do it. Um, holy crap. Like script, the way it looks, uh, characters, character development, making me care about any of these people. It looks embarrassing. By the way, the other reason I had to leave was because I was literally embarrassed. It was awkward. It was awkward to watch like this old man that no one told him, stop doing this stuff, stop it. You need to just, this isn't good, edit, make it stop. Uh, script. It was like the dialogue of, uh, I make a joke a lot of times. I'm like, my sixth graders could have done better. I used to teach middle school. Not only can my sixth graders, this is, I am not exaggerating somehow. Literally, literally. Kids on a stage, like even the props that they had, people were just explaining everything, saying everything out loud. There was no subtext at all. It was like, you know, uh, you could see that Adam Driver, for example, was doing something that is supposed to be imaginary. He's like uh, stroking someone's hair who's not supposed to be there, his ex. And then Natalie Emmanuel, and it's revealed to us, she's invisible and he's talking to no one and he's stroking no one's hair. And then Natalie Emmanuel still has to be like, there's no one there, she thinks he's still alive. And by the way, goes back and forth, I shouldn't even say from a British accent, I'm so, so used to her being on Thrones. Uh, her die. Speaking of di bad dialogue, it's like someone, no one told her to go in and out of these terrible New York variations of a New York accent. I can't even say a New York accent. I couldn't even say it. Um, man, this is, you can't, and I can't believe I sat there for an hour and a half. And the only reason I did was because of this channel. And it's so hard. I was like, how can I walk out of this? All these videos, like this movie built this YouTube channel and I couldn't take it it's so bad so i i mean and i can't see any kind of ending that it would have it's this surrealistic it wants to be david lynch okay so going back again script the way it looks uh i don't know if it wants to be a uh a high school play or, or, or worse a middle school play it's more like a wants to be david lynch meets uh some other like hal hartley almost in the way it wants to be satirical and like, you know, left of center dialogue, uh, just, but it, and the money, the money, the money, again, going back to the money, $120 million, and it doesn't look good, it also looks, again, terrible, so script, again, caring about, okay, another thing about the script, I, I'm gonna bounce around because I couldn't take it, like, an entire to be or not to be, excerpt from Hamlet a whole like that whole Malin Adam Driver just keeps going how does that even work in a script are you allowed to just copy and paste Hamlet and put it into a script and awkwardly like no one on set is going Francis like let's not continue with this just he's still going and this movie is apparently two hours and 18 minutes and an hour and a half I'm going and going and going I'm seeing nothing redeeming in this thing 
I just couldn't do it. Any uh, final thing I'll say about script slash story, you can't care about any of these characters because even, and then there's this Lawrence Fishburne, I guess with script, you gotta talk about this Lawrence Fishburne uh, narration that is just, again, everything's just on the nose, bad, awkward, 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 ah, and hand in hand with the script, there's delivering this painful, like, stuff that no one would say. You know, Aubrey Plaza would be like in the middle of uh, a sentence or something on, on uh, just doing this news thing, she's a reporter, and all of a sudden like a song will break out for two seconds that she sings and it stops. You're like, what? And, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. It's so hard to watch. It is a, an old man, once again, I feel so embarrassed, but it's also an old man slash kids play so a kid with too much money with 120 million dollars and ultimately it really doesn't matter like i talked about this on our earlier videos it kind of doesn't matter because he coppola has nothing to lose like all his kids are set they're all like, successful filmmakers or have plenty of money he has the vineyard if he has to uh, fall back on anything uh, coppola vineyards he's he's good he's set and he's old enough sadly you know he lost his wife but like so I really don't want to crap on the guy here. I just have to be honest, and this is what I would do if I normally went to a movie, and it was really hard to make this decision as a YouTuber, going like, again, Megalopolis like built this channel, and to not finish it. Again, I might go back, I probably should for you guys, and part of me apologizes, but part of me has to be honest, like, this is what I would do in a theater normally if this movie was on. I just could not take it. Uh, and yes, the beeping of the car alarm out there is a perfect analogy for exactly how I feel about this movie. Um, it is a complete mess. It's chaos. It's just pointless conversation after pointless conversation. Let's get to the look of it. Okay. <laughs> it, again, looks absolutely terrible. How with $120 million now with the volume, with all the things that you have, with what uh, the Penguin is doing right now on HBO. I mean, they are replicating what they, what Matt Reeves did in the Batman 2022. Say what you will about either of those things, if you like them or not, you have to admit Gotham looks good. Like, crushed it. And you're telling me with $120 million, where is the, where did the money go? Where did the money go? I, it is unreal how bad it looks. It's like you deliberately made it look bad. And so at one point I'm going, all right, well, maybe he's trying to do, because again, very artsy, it's trying to be artsy. Everything it tries to be, it's failing at. Any basic element of filmmaking, again, the way it looks, the script, uh, me caring at all about any of these characters, it is unfortunately so hard to watch. And it's like, if you wanted to do just this 15 minute short of like ancient Rome meets what you think some utopian architect would do but you know ah so it looks just terrible and it's supposed to be this sci-fi epic so anytime it cuts to something sci-fi e that also doesn't even look great like some of the animation stuff these statues will animate and move around and these these weird awkward 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 moments so at one point adam driver there's this press thing and adam driver starts doing this weird gesturing slash movement slash dance thing. There's uh, not music from what I can recall for him to dance to. And you're just like, I, I uh, no one said cut. No one said cut. I can't take it. I can't, I couldn't do it. Oh, here's the other thing too, the cast. You gotta talk about the cast. You know, it's like Dustin Hoffman will show up. John Voight shows up, all these people, just Aubrey Plaza, boom, 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 Natalie Emanuel, Adam Driver, and none of them, they're all embarrassing themselves. They're all embarrassing themselves. They're all embarrassing all of us in the theater. There was, I mean, there was only like five other people in the theater. This was a Sunday I saw, it wasn't opening night or anything, but you know, it's a new Coppola movie three, three days later. I guess it's getting lambasted by uh, some critics at least. I, I personally came across some thumbnails that were not good. They were not favorable. And I try to avoid spoiler reviews and all that stuff. 
this movie, dude. I couldn't do it. So not only can I not recommend it, it's like there's not enough things you could smoke, drink to make this. I don't see it. Maybe some kind of cult following, but I stayed for a feature length amount. And I'm like, if you're gonna do some kind of student film, it can't be more than an hour and a half. All I could say is what I saw was not, I couldn't continue, it was too awkward. I couldn't do it. So call me a bad reviewer. We have our Penguin review coming out for episode two. I thought that was coming out next week on Sundays, but apparently it already started dropping Sunday. Subscribe to the channel. When I do watch the rest of Megalopolis, I will obviously do a review, but I had to be honest with you guys. That's how I feel about what I saw of an hour and a half of Francis Ford Coppola's Megalopolis.